This video will cover how to replace the inlet and discharge valves along with the diaphragms and oil on any AR80 LFP series pump. These are the tools used in this video to repair the machine. Here are the kits and their part numbers needed to service the pump. To replace the three discharge valves on this side of the pump, start by removing the six outer and the three inner stainless steel fasteners with a 13mm socket. Do not use pneumatic tools when servicing this pump. If it is used on the stainless fasteners, it will gall the metal. Pull off the discharge manifold to gain access to three of the six valves on this pump. The discharge side valves can easily be pulled off by hand. If you are not replacing the valves, make sure to check for broken springs or pitting on the poppet of the valve. If the gaskets that the valves are seated on can't be taken up by hand, use a small pick to remove them. Both manifolds can be separated into several parts for maintenance. It can be easily pulled apart at each of the joints. Check over the O-rings and replace them if they are damaged. When fitting the manifold back together, apply a liberal amount of grease to the O-rings before doing so. To take off the threaded port adapter, use a screwdriver on this spot to lift off the U-clip. To remove the inlet valves on the other side of the pump, again remove the nine fasteners with a 13mm socket. Once all of the bolts have been removed, the manifold will easily come off by hand. Do not lose any of the nuts in the head of the pump that the fasteners screw into. There are 12 in total, one for each of the outer manifold bolts. The best way to take out the three inlet valves is to use a pair of valve pliers. Put the pliers between the seat and the poppet to pull the valves out. To drain the oil before working on the diaphragm, use a 22 mm socket to take off the oil cap. Twist the oil tank cap to allow air into the pump, pushing the oil out faster. Do not attempt to replace the diaphragm without removing the oil first. Make sure to safely and properly dispose of old oil. Drain as much of the oil as you can before putting the oil cap back on and torquing it to 180 inch-pounds. To access the diaphragms on this pump, remove the eight head bolts on either side of the pump. I will only be showing one side since they are both identical. After all of the head bolts have been taken off, 
the plastic head can be easily pulled off. Once the head is off, use a 17mm socket to take off the nut keeping the diaphragm in place. Once the nut is off, first take off the washer and plate. Once you slide the diaphragm off, inspect it for any signs of wear or damage. Here is an example of an extremely damaged diaphragm, caused by air getting into the chamber. If yours needs to be replaced, there are four different types of diaphragms. Each one has its perks in different situations, but a majority of the time, Blueflex will work the best. Put the parts back on in the order you took them off, starting with the diaphragm, with the side that says oil facing towards the pump. Follow that with the plate, and then the washer. The nylock nut can be screwed on and torqued to 220 inch-pounds to keep your pump secure. Before putting the head back on, use a wrench to turn the crankshaft. This allows us to push the edges of the diaphragm inside the pump. This prevents the diaphragm from being pinched or crushed when reapplying the head. When putting the head back on, make sure that the inlet or discharge valves match up with the other ones on the same side of the pump. Push on the head and add the bolts and washers, torquing them to 125 inch-pounds. To replace the valves, place the green Viton gasket around the seat of the valve and push it into the port. The inlet valves are put into the bigger port, with the cage going in first. On the other side, the discharge valves are in the port with the smaller hole. Make sure that the valves and gaskets are fully seated on both sides of the pump. Firmly place on the corresponding manifold onto the pump. Then you can place in the nuts into the head of the pump, with the square side facing the manifold. Screw in the head bolts to the holes that the nuts have been placed in. The nuts that go into the bottom may be hard to put in. Use a screwdriver to slide them in all the way before screwing in the bolt.
These bolts should be torqued to 125 inch-pounds in a crisscross pattern to evenly distribute pressure. The exact same process can be repeated on the other side of the pump. To finish servicing this pump, oil needs to be put back into it. Start by unscrewing the cap and o-ring, then adding a small amount of your oil to it. Attach a wrench to the crankshaft and twist it back and forth along with rocking the pump side to side. This allows the air to float up and out of the pump. Make sure all air has been removed from the inside of it or it will damage the diaphragm like the broken one shown earlier. Add any remaining oil up to the fill line and retighten the oil cap.